Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into some of the most common financial mistakes that middle-class individuals make, especially in their early adulthood. These are mistakes I see people making all the time, and they can really set you back when it comes to building wealth. But the good news is, they're totally avoidable. Stick around to learn how to avoid these money traps and secure your financial future. All right, let's talk about the first money trap, choosing the wrong degree or career path. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't follow your passions, but you've got to be realistic. College is expensive, and you don't want to end up with a mountain of debt and a job that doesn't even cover your monthly loan payments. Before you commit to a degree, do your research. Look at the average salaries for different professions, job growth outlook, and the overall cost of education. There are tons of free resources available online, like the Bureau of Labor Statistics website, that can give you this information. Trust me, putting in the work now to choose a financially viable career path will pay off big time in the long run. This next one is a big one delaying investing. It's a common mistake that many people make, often without realizing the long-term consequences. Listen, I get it. When you're young, retirement seems like a lifetime away. It's easy to think that you have all the time in the world to start saving and investing. But the truth is, the earlier you start investing, the better off you'll be. Time is one of the most powerful tools you have when it comes to growing your wealth. It's all about the magic of compound interest. This is where your money starts to work for you, earning interest on the interest it has already earned. Compound interest is basically earning interest on your interest. It might not seem like much at first, but over time it can lead to significant growth. Over time, even small contributions to your investments can grow exponentially. The key is consistency and starting as early as possible. Let's say you invest $100 a month, starting at age 25. It might not seem like a lot, but those small amounts add up. By the time you retire at 65, you could have over $200,000, assuming a 7% average annual return. That's the power of starting early. But if you wait until you're 35 to start investing that same amount, you'll end up with significantly less. The difference can be tens of thousands of dollars. The bottom line is, don't wait to start investing. The sooner you begin, the more time your money has to grow. Even if you can only afford to contribute a small amount each month, do it. Every little bit helps, and over time, those small contributions can make a big difference. Your future self will thank you. Imagine the peace of mind you'll have knowing that you've taken steps to secure your financial future. It's never too early to start, and the benefits of starting now will be well worth it in the long run. Think of investing as a journey. The earlier you start, the longer you have to reach your destination. Set clear financial goals and make a plan to achieve them. Educate yourself about different investment options and strategies. The more you know, the better decisions you can make. Celebrate your progress along the way. Each step you take towards investing is a step towards a more secure and prosperous future. Visualize where you want to be in the future and take actionable steps to get there. Your future self will be grateful for the decisions you make today. Remember, investing is not just about making money, it's about building a foundation for your future. Start now, stay consistent, and watch your investments grow over time. Next up, we have high interest debt, and this one can be a real killer. Credit cards are convenient, but they can also be incredibly dangerous if you're not careful. Those high interest rates can quickly snowball, and before you know it, you're drowning in debt. My advice? Pay off your credit card balance in full every single month. If you can't afford to pay it off in full, try to at least make more than the minimum payment. And whatever you do, avoid those tempting cash advances. They come with even higher interest rates and fees. Paying off high interest debt should be your top financial priority. It'll free up so much more money in the long run that you can use to invest and build wealth. Now let's talk about the get rich quick mindset. We've all seen those ads promising to make us rich overnight. But let me tell you, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Building wealth takes time, discipline, and a solid financial plan. Don't fall for those schemes that promise unrealistic returns. Instead, focus on proven strategies like investing in low-cost index funds, diversifying your portfolio, and staying invested for the long haul. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Working in unfulfilling jobs. This next one is a bit less tangible, but equally important, working in unfulfilling jobs. Now, I understand that not everyone can have their dream job right out of the gate, but if you're constantly dreading going to work, it might be time to reevaluate your career path. Life is too short to be stuck in a job that makes you miserable. 
Plus, when you're unhappy at work, it can bleed into other areas of your life, including your finances. Think about it. When you're feeling unfulfilled, it's easy to overspend on things you think will make you happy. So, invest in yourself. Take some time to figure out what you're passionate about and explore different career options. You might be surprised at what you find. Overstretching on housing costs. All right, let's talk about housing. It's one of the most significant financial decisions you'll ever make. Your housing costs should be your biggest expense, right? Wrong. While it's true that housing is a major expense, it shouldn't dominate your budget. It's easy to get caught up in the idea of living in a big fancy house. The allure of spacious rooms, modern amenities, and upscale neighborhoods can be tempting, but overstretching on housing costs is a surefire way to sabotage your finances. When you allocate too much of your income to housing, you leave little room for other essential expenses and savings. Remember, your house is not an investment, it's an expense. Unlike investments that can grow your wealth, housing costs are ongoing and can drain your resources if not managed wisely. Aim to keep your housing costs to no more than 30% of your gross income. This rule of thumb helps ensure that you have enough left over for other financial goals and emergencies. That means if you're making $5,000 a month, your rent or mortgage payment should be no more than $1,500. This balance allows you to save, invest, and enjoy life without financial stress. If you're currently spending more than that, consider downsizing or finding a more affordable place to live. It might be challenging, but the long-term benefits are substantial. Trust me, the financial freedom you'll gain from living below your means is well worth it. You'll have more money to save for retirement, invest in opportunities, and enjoy life without the constant worry of making ends meet. Imagine the peace of mind that comes with knowing you have a financial cushion. You can pursue hobbies, travel, and spend quality time with loved ones without the burden of excessive housing costs. Take control of your finances by making smart housing choices. Consult with a financial advisor if needed, and set realistic goals that align with your income and lifestyle. By keeping your housing costs in check, you'll be on the path to financial stability and success. Celebrate your milestones and enjoy the journey towards a secure financial future. Remember, it's not about the size of your house, but the size of your financial freedom. Make wise choices today for a brighter tomorrow. Buying a new car. And finally, let's talk about cars. Buying a new car is a significant decision, one that many people look forward to with great anticipation. I know I know that new car smell is intoxicating. It's a sensory experience that makes you feel like you're on top of the world. But buying a brand new car, especially right after you graduate or get a new job, is a huge financial mistake. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement and overlook the long-term financial implications. Cars depreciate in value like crazy. The moment you drive that shiny new car off the lot, it starts losing its value. In fact, they lose about 20% of their value as soon as you drive them off the lot. This means that the car you just paid a premium for is now worth significantly less. So why not let someone else take that depreciation hit? By buying a used car, you can avoid this immediate loss in value. Buying a used car, even one that's just a few years old, can save you a ton of money. These cars have already gone through the steepest part of their depreciation curve. And with proper maintenance, a used car can last you for years to come. Regular checkups and timely repairs can keep your car running smoothly and efficiently. Remember, a car is a tool to get you from point A to point B, not a status symbol. It's easy to fall into the trap of wanting the latest model, but practicality should always come first. Don't let your ego drain your bank account. Focus on what you need rather than what you want. A reliable, well-maintained used car can serve you just as well as a new one without the hefty price tag. Do your research, compare prices, and consider all your options. Talk to friends or family members who have experience with buying used cars. They can offer valuable insights and help you make an informed decision. Test drive several cars to get a feel for what you like and what suits your needs. Don't rush the process. Take your time to find the right car for you. When you finally find the right car, make sure to get a vehicle history report and have it inspected by a trusted mechanic. This will give you peace of mind and ensure that you're making a sound investment. In the end, buying a used car can be a rewarding experience. You'll save money, avoid the steep depreciation of a new car, and still enjoy the freedom and convenience of having your own vehicle. So, make a smart choice and invest in a used car. Your future self will thank you for it. Avoid these money traps. Thanks for watching.
If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more financial tips and advice. Remember, mindful financial planning is key to avoiding these common money traps and achieving long-term financial security. See you in the next video.